If there has been one thing that I, and hopefully you, have learned in doing this wonderful segment for the last five years, it's that your house is a happy place, but it's also a place where you can make some money. And Liz and Gina are here from Remax Diamond Realty once again. And we are going to talk about kind of a continuation, right, ladies, on what we talked about yeah. last week. We're right. talking about, like, encroachment and what you can't do outside that's the legal right. boundaries yes. of your property. Right. But maybe to segue into a new topic, what exactly are you able to do within that perimeter? Well, yeah. if you're doing, like, a playground, it's not a problem as long as it isn't something permanent, because there's certain permanent structures that would be um, allowed by law, you know, based on the Guam law. So if we talked about your back setback, you're looking at um, 10 feet from the backyard, the boundary point, to your back structure. Mm -hmm. So, and then from the front, you're looking at um, 15 feet, and then from the side, you're looking at eight feet. So in the future, if you decide to sell, and let's say you extended your, your walls from the side and you ex extended to add an extra room to the edge of the boundary point, uh, that's non-conforming. So it's not allowed by law to do that. Okay, you just used a word and you said permanent. Um, Gina, please jump in with this because I'm, I'm curious now as to what considers a permanent structure. Like obviously if I build like a sk uh, skateboard half pipe, that can be broken down, that can yeah, be disassembled. It's, it's what if I do something like I, I trench into the ground or I dig or something like that, which, which, which will obviously change the constitution of the land? Well, well when, when we're defining permanent, mm -hmm. it's something that's attached to the property, property and has a permanent roof line, like it has a concrete roof. Mm. Mm -hmm. So if I make we, a tree house, that's okay? No. A playground is okay, a okay. tree house is okay, but is your tree house concrete? <laughs> is it, does it have a concrete roof and is it built into the ground? Does it have footings that go into the dirt? I want to see the tree that can hold that up. We, we are way beyond Swiss Family Robinson at this point. <laughs> way beyond. And, and we're talking about more, we're talking about permanent fixtures, fixtures to the property. Yeah. Like for instance, um, we have individuals that, I mean there's a lot of people that need extra storage. So perhaps you've built a storage building that's on your property. Oh, like a tool shed, because my, my, my grandfather yeah. did that. Yeah. Yeah. But, but I'm talking about a tool shed that has a permanent, like a concrete roof, concrete walls, concrete roof. That's permanent, because if it doesn't have a concrete roof, I could really take off the roof and it's just, is that a structure anymore? No, it's not, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. okay? So that's what we're talking about. Some people have built generator rooms. So really, the law has addressed mm. these types of uses. Mm -hmm. Um, you know, the government has looked at that and said, hey, a lot of people have these uses, then we're going to, they, they've created a law that allows those types of uses, but it's very, um, you know, the law has, um, it tells you what size the building has to be, where it could be positioned for it to be considered legal. legal. Okay, That's one, right. one more question, um, because again, I'm just thinking, because my grandfather, when he was still alive, he didn't build a, uh, it was a concrete structure, <clears throat> excuse me, um, not to be lived in, but it was one of those like old school Antigua um, big concrete furnaces that, that he would that he would prepare food in. You know, you could shove mm -hmm. like almost like like an outdoor yeah. kitchen, yeah, like, outdoor oven. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. And that's yes. what it was because yes. he wanted that the smoky flavor and everything like that. He wanted to prepare uh, meals for the family. Wow, where is right. this located? Uh, I can show you. I'd, I'd be happy yeah. to. But but, but you know, you're, but you're, it was never intended to be like a place of residence and everything yes, like that. That's yes. right. Um, because there's it's a minimum, but okay. there's a minimum um, is that size. Still on? It's allowed 200 square feet. Let's say at, at the rear part of your, your boundary point, your corner lots, right, for example. So if you build a storage shed on one corner of your property, uh, you're allowed up to 200 square feet um, structure. Mm. So you've got to make sure, though, you double check with land management. We always refer to this. And yeah. uh, when we talked to one appraiser, he was just saying that get something in writing to make sure everything is conforming because later it could be an issue. So let's say you built 300 square feet. So what normally happens is they'd have to demolish 100 square feet to make it conforming. Now there are other uh, parts of the law that, There's you know, other right, remedies, other remedies mm -hmm. but the best thing to do is always check, check with land management or give us a call and then we'll guide you to the proper person that you can contact. Would EPA just to ever make come sure. into, the, into the picture? No, it would be land, land management. Okay. Because they govern what structures are there, like, like I said, setbacks. Because again, right? I'm, I'm thinking like if you do something infrastructurally where you're running 
lines for whatever reason, yeah. or you put in like some pipe, or you know, you're, you're right. a techie like me, and you just want to be, yeah. you want to be goofy, and you want to like change the complexity of your house. Well, when you're renovating, of course, again, if you extend your home as long as it's within your your ten foot marker from your back of your wall to the end of your boundary point. You just want to make sure you're within those numbers. Mm -hmm. that, you, you know, I think the issue comes into play when people do these extensions or mm -hmm. structures without the permit. That's right. So if you're getting a permit, the government will essentially tell you if you're, if you're, if the structure you're intending on building is going to cause the property to be illegal, they'll tell you. And is that because, because most, most people default to the mindset of saying, oh, it's my property, I'm yeah. not encroaching into my neighbor, I can do whatever yeah, I want. That's yeah, exactly that's the it. problem. I, I can build 9,000 feet in, in straight up, or you know, as, long as, up. I don't, yeah. as long as I don't cross over. Or I could build from the side of my wall all the, all way, the way to, to my the fence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, and, and it has happened. We've it, had it many happens families, quite often. Yes. Mm. Yeah. And especially when their family's growing, they want to give more room for the family, add an extra bedroom, but they should always check, is it conforming? And could it be an issue? And one of the issues that could crop up would be, let's say they're refinancing because they want to finance what they spent on the home. At that point, that would be a problem. So okay. there are other factors that come into mm -hmm. play. So basically, just check land management, or even you, better, just check with your realtor. We will guide you to the proper person. We'll guide person, you to the right, right person right to talk. Okay. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. Okay, well, it's, it's almost dinner time. It's getting ready to time to close. Can, we, can you guide me to like go get a hamburger or something like that? I'm hungry. Mescla. Okay. Mescla. Okay. Well, let's go. go. Yeah, okay, we, we obviously have some work to do. I'm going to find out more about encroachment and what I can do with my property, and we'll see you next week. Okay, that's, that's a guarantee. Right? <laughs> Shoot. Closed captioning is brought to you by IT&E. Explore your world.